Welcome to WP Living. In this video, I'd like to showcase a very handy little app that I've just discovered. It's called Monosnap, and it's a screenshot app. Um, it allows you to take photos or videos um, in your browser on the web as you go. It's built for Mac, but there are there's a version for Windows, and it works also on iPhone and iPad. Before I get into the app itself, let me paint you a quick picture of why I was looking for this sort of thing. So if you're like me and you, uh, you're a WordPress user, chances are you'll um, use quite a few photos and images in your blog posts. The traditional way, of course, of inserting an image into a blog post with WordPress is, first of all, you find the image that you want, you download it to your hard drive, you go to your WordPress post, you click the Add Media button and you um, upload the file and then you finally insert it into the post and it appears as a line of code. Now that's the traditional way that I'm sure most people are familiar with. Um, what I, that's about a four-step process. Find the image, download it, uh, open up your post, upload it, then insert it. What I wanted to do was try and reduce that four-step process into one or two steps, cut it down by half at least. And you can't do that natively with WordPress. So it got me thinking about different apps that I might be able to use to do this sort of thing. And I wanted to find an app that was free of charge as well. And so I went through all sorts of different software and applications for screen capture and I couldn't find anything that would allow, would allow me to very simply find a photograph, let's say this mountain here, let's say I want to capture this image, without having to download it to my hard drive. I would wanted an app that would allow me to just um, press some hotkeys on my keyboard, up pops um, a cursor and allows you to draw around this screen, capture the image, and then send it directly without any other uh, operation directly to my server and I'm using WPLiving.net on third-party hosting. So send that image directly to that server into a folder, let's say WPLiving.net slash um, screencast, something like that, into that folder and in the same instance generate a URL that directly links to that image and have it ready on my clipboard so I just click paste right click and then paste or on Mac it's command V. I'm a, I'm a Mac user, I'm using a Mac Mini. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, you find an image, you press some hotkeys on your keyboard, up pops the cursor, you highlight the image and then it sends it directly to your server, it generates the URL and you just paste that in here. Finally, I found something that would allow me to do that simple process or make that process that much simple. And the app is Monosnap. And so I downloaded Monosnap. I installed it very quickly. And I'm not sure you can see on here, but in, my, uh, in the icon bar right at the top, there's a little lightning symbol, which is the Monosnap symbol. If I click on that, it brings a series of options up. All I did was I went to Preferences. I got this little screen. Uh, in the general settings tab, I um, selected after screenshot, upload the screenshot. I also clicked give me a sound effect to let me know that the screenshot's been taken and it's been uploaded okay. Then after the upload, generate that URL, copy the site link, right? So it, it spits out a URL directly connected to that image that I've uploaded. Um, and it does it as a short link, and you'll see that in a minute when I when I show you how it works. I didn't want the images to open up in a browser or in a preview screen. I just wanted as simple as possible. The next tab, advanced. Here you can see that you can choose between different file formats for the images. Uh, I wanted JPEG, and you can also this is pretty cool. You can reduce the quality, and I've got it at 60%, which means that my images will be fairly lightweight. And that's very important for blogs. You don't want to insert heavy images on your blog. It just slows the website down. So I chose JPEG. I set it to 60. And then here are some video settings if you want to do um, screencasts. I'm just working with images. 
And then finally, I gave the file names a, a default setting. I want each file name to have the year, the month, the day, and then the minute. So my files will all be recognizable through these options. And you can see here there are a number of different things you can add. OK. So then I went to the Appearance tab. This is uh, how the app behaves on your screen. Uh, you can show the tooltip, so it gives you hints about what to do. Uh, you can have a magnifier. I don't like that. Um, basically, I wanted a shadow that overlays on my, um, on my browser so I can see what I'm highlighting, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. So those are the options I chose there. I went to hotkeys. I reassigned the hotkey for the capture. So I've got it as Command Shift 2. When I click those, up pops the screen, and I can drag the cursor and highlight the section I want to capture. And finally, Account. Now, this is where you set up, if you want to, like I'm doing, you set up the connection with your server so that any image you capture is directly saved on your server. Um, and the way to do that is enter the host name. Um, it's usually a series of numbers that you can find on your control panel for your hosting account. The port is usually 21. The username for your hosting account and the password go there. Then you choose the folder um, that you want the, the images to be saved in. And then you give it a base URL, which is, in my case, wpliving.net. If you're interested in these particular FTP settings, you want me to explain that in more detail, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to do that. Um, otherwise, there are a whole series of other hosting options that you can use. Monosnap gives you an, a free account with some space. You could use Dropbox if you're a Dropbox user, Evernote, Amazon, Box.com, and so on and so on. And those are some um, common options. Anyway, so without further ado, without further ado, I'm going to um, give you an example. I'm going to try and capture this image of Sam the dog. Now, as I said before, traditionally with WordPress, normally what you'd have to do is right-click the image, save the image as whatever you want to on your hard drive, go back to your post, add media, then find that image on your hard drive, and, um, and then upload it like that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to use my hotkeys and bring up the crosshairs. You'll see that happen right now. So Command-Shift-2 brings up these crosshairs. I'm going to highlight the section of the image I want, like this. And once I let go, it snaps the picture. And there's a little notification saying it's uploaded to my server. All I have to do now is go to my post and then select image and then paste what's on the clipboard, which is a direct link to the image. Give it a title. And there it is. And let's preview that. That should be Sam the dog. Here we go. Uh, if my preview will let me see it, it's running a little bit slow there. Okay, there it is, Sam the dog. Uh, so that's it. Four steps reduced to two, and it makes life much, much easier. Um, from now on, you can just clip uh, images wherever you are on the web, and then send them directly to your server, and then it spits out this URL, and you can post that anywhere. You can put it in the browser even if you like, and you'll see it happen there. Get rid of that, and there it is in the browser directly. So that's Monosnap. It's a fantastic little app, very lightweight, very easy to use, very intuitive. It works across different platforms, Windows and Mac. It's free to use. Um, there's no premium options or whatever. It's great. It's a great little piece of software. Um, there are all sorts of different things you can do with it. You can edit stuff. But really, I just wanted something very basic to do the process I've just shown you. Uh, I hope you'll use it. Let me know if you do, if you need any help with it. Also, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch or leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye-bye.